Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Carol Brown Earl coming to you from Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia. And today I just wanted to talk to you all a little bit. I'm not going to try to talk you into buying a product or a health product or schooling or anything of that nature. I'm here today to just talk to you a little bit in a realistic way. You know, there are so many people out there, we're all fighting to, you know, get ahead, trying to figure out, you know, what we are all about, what our purpose in life is all about. You know, what are we struggling for? What is that end result that you're looking for in your life? Is it your dream um, of lavish and luxury? Or do you have a particular hobby you think you're good at? you know, and you've really not done anything with it. There are so many different things that people feel that they're made to do. I mean, even from doctors, lawyers, salon people, you know, hairstylists, policemen, you name it, you know, or even those in the military, you know, they felt that they had a calling for that. And I'll tell you what, through the years that I've been working online and learning all I can about all the little things that you need to learn about social media and how to post and all of these sort of things. There's one, well, not one, actually there's three or four things that stay constant. And those are in your attitude about life and your circumstances and what you want to accomplish. I mean, we're looking at things like dedication, finding what you want and deciding to be dedicated to that goal, commitment to keep going with that goal, no matter what anyone else might tell you or hum ha you into, oh, you can't do that. You know, it'll never work. Um, so you really need that commitment too, to yourself. And then there's the sacrifice. You will find that in order to perpetuate yourself to that ending, to get there. You know, there are so many things you have to sacrifice during your dedication and commitment to your goal and what you want to achieve and what you want to accomplish in life. And the biggest one that I find in all of this, in searching for what even I want or what anyone wants, is self-discipline. That's a big one, guys. Self-discipline. You've got to be willing to do the things necessary, not just for your mind, but your body as well, and for your heart. And it takes that discipline. You know, instead of maybe uh, you had a choice of maybe going online and making a video, something funny happened today and you want to tell everyone about it, but then you get distracted because someone's, oh, no, come on, we're going to the bar. You know, come with us. And, oh, okay, I'll go. No. Self-discipline. You have a goal. There's something you want to accomplish in life. So you have to be totally committed. You have to sacrifice things. You have to be dedicated. And that self-discipline, it is a big one. But, you know, people kind of, I've had people say to me, well, I'm not going to punish myself for not doing this or not doing that, you know. It's not a punishment. Self-discipline is respecting yourself, respecting who you are, what you want to be, where you want to go and what you want to grow into. And it all starts with that little pitter patter in our heart and our gut as to what it is we really want out of life. And sometimes it's complicated to figure that out. And depending on your age, you know, it's either easier or harder. I find those of us who are a little older in life, such as myself, <laughs> we've been through so many things and the wisdom that we have attained during our lives. It makes it so much easier for us to understand and know and see what we want before we pass from this world. And I suppose that makes us dig a little harder, work a little harder. 
makes us have more of that self-discipline a little bit more because we are, you know, on the down sp spiral of our lives. <laughs> Yet on the opposite end, if you're young or even middle age, now is the time to really reach out to yourself and for yourself. Think and talk and feel what that is that makes your heart beat that makes your dreams come true, that makes you feel whole and happy inside. Because if you find that little niche about yourself, being young, you could conquer the world. You could live your entire life, you know, in happiness and security. And there's just no other place that I would rather be and there's so many issues with jobs today and everybody being replaced with computers and software and robots and you name it. The technology is stripping us of our outside jobs, the nine to five jobs. Or I know some of you are a lot more than that. Some people work 12, 16 hours a day. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but the point is to really live the life that God intended you to live. You need to know how to go about finding that one special thing, living the life that God wanted you to live, that you want to live. So I just want you to think about all that and do something for yourself. Take these things, your, the commitment, the sacrifice, the dedication, the self-discipline. Write them down. And maybe just take one of those a week. And do your best to say you're going to be committed. Okay, this week I'm going to work on my commitment. And see what that does for you. Next week, add in sacrifice. Figure out one little thing you're going to sacrifice in place of doing something for you, even if it's maybe not texting for a day. <laughs> I, I'd like to see you all do that challenge. <laughs> but even partially, first thing you do when you get up in the morning, start texting and all this. Don't. Stop. Do something for yourself. Be dedicated in that third week to you, your goal, and implement the self Discipline by the fourth week and watch it all come together. So anyway, guys, need any help, want to ask me any questions, or just talk with me. Feel free. Anyway, God bless for now, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye for now. Hi.